When bad stuff starts happening around you, you gotta keep your head in the game and take steps to make yourself more safe. I'm John Correa, the founder and owner here at Active Self Protection, and I welcome you to today's lesson. It comes to us from Brixton in the UK. Today's video is brought to us by Firearms Legal Protection. Firearms Legal Protection is a legal defense program for lawful gun owners with a 24-7 emergency hotline and plans designed specifically for self-defenders. They are offering a discount on their plan to ASP fans, so hit the link in the description for that. So these guys are just chilling at this bakery is what the news story said. And you can see the guy on the left who's looking outside and starting to see, hey, wait a minute, guys, something's wrong. And you see his eyes get big where he's like, hey, man, there's a guy with a gun out here. There's some guy that's threatening us. And the one guy turns around to look. Now our first dude's going to try to get this door closed, but he's not going to get it all the way closed when he sees the bad stuff coming. Everybody's going to pile out of there and try to get the heck out of there because dude's going to walk in and start shooting. And he shoots the place up and actually shoots three people, including a 17-year-old. And uh, there weren't any fatalities, but as far as I know, police are still looking for him. I know a lot of my watchers are going to say, wait a minute, this is the UK. How in the world can anybody have a gun there? But it is what it is, and that's where this one ends. Man, that's pretty insane from a place that people ain't supposed to have any guns. If you want to support the work we do here at Active Self Protection, one of the best ways you can do that is by joining our patron member program. We handle it all on our website. Hit the link in the description and join us there. Thank you so much to everybody who supports the work we do, and let's get lessons for everyone today. We say this all the time on the channel, friends. Attention buys you time. Time buys you options. And our dude on the left is paying attention to his world. So everybody else is just chilling. I get it. They're in this deli or you know bakery, whatever, just looking for stuff. But he sees something's going. Hey, man, do you guys see a problem here? Well, listen, take action to make yourself safer. Don't just report the problem. Make sure that you get out of the danger zone. And I do think that the first thing that he did that was a very good job as he tried to close the door. If you can get the door closed and locked, it does present an effective barrier for a moment. Now, of course, windows and stuff like that can be shot through. But if you can get the door closed, this is a very good thing. And saying, hey, man, I got to get the heck out of here. Now, notice the mob that goes down here as everybody tries to get out of the danger zone. And what I want you to see is, is that some people are kind of stuck. There's nowhere for them to go. But the people who saw it coming, they had more opportunity. Again, attention buys you time, time buys you options. And they got out of the danger zone. Now, how'd they get out of the danger zone? Because the bad guy couldn't see them. Yes, many of these counters are probably concealment and not cover. But in private citizen incidents, it almost doesn't matter. If he can't see you, he won't shoot at you. And that's what we see 99.9% .9 of the time. So just get behind concealment if you can. Now notice our bad guy comes in here just shooting and shooting at this gob of people. And I don't know what he was shooting at. This looks personal to me. Maybe it's gang related. Maybe it's drug related. Maybe it's organized crime related. Who knows? Maybe it's just a personal beef between people. And when you're caught in the crossfire, that is utterly irrelevant. You have to do the things that make you safer. Now, again, would I have preferred a private citizen in here to be able to stop this with their own firearm? Yes, I would. And I would recommend to all my UK viewers that they really work with their legislators to stop this stuff. Next thing I do want to notice, you notice everybody who just kind of got down, it sometimes can be effective. Notice a guy on the far left who just got into a real small space and he really probably wasn't even seen, but notice the guys on the right, even they got small, but it didn't help them. So getting down and getting small might help. Getting behind a barrier much better and more effective if you possibly can, even if it's just a visual barrier. So I, I, rather than just get down, I would prefer you get behind something like these guys are doing now and getting out of there. Final thing here, notice how fast it goes. This is over in a matter of seconds. So the biggest thing that I could tell you, the number one way to avoid criminal violence is pay attention to your world. Because if you do, you'll buy yourself some time to make a better decision to protect yourself and cover your ASP.